take you up coverage in summer. Right. I'll take you up high, I'll join that, you've got a scrambling. It'll be easy fun. A nice sunny day, I'll update it. Take you up. Barely running to the summit. You can just see it in the middle of the screen. Another couple of hundred feet. I thought it was another couple of hundred feet, about <laughs> 400 feet ago, but it seems to be getting longer and longer away. Nah, that's it. That's definitely the end of the top. Alright, folks, finally there. I made it. I made it. Start, Eddie. Yeah, I'm done. By pressing the bell icon, you'll receive all my new videos, and a press on the thumbs up would be much appreciated. I thought this was the top. Uh, a wee bit to go. I'm looking for a camp spot now. Well, as you see there, there's the fluffy snow, right? And this is the, there's the real stuff. Within a couple of feet, you can tell the difference just with the, with the wind. The wind does the snow, you know? That's why you need your crampons and, hey, that's why, all right, that's no stiff enough. Right. But that's why in winter in the hills, you need stiff. That's why you need fancy boots. Right, I'll need to get myself better equipment, better boots. Oh. up there next. Oh, I don't slip down. That'll be the end of Scott's Wild Camper. Right, second mineral, Pen Vein. Having a wee play in the snow. Give us a wee ready. Good fun. Oh. Back in date and marriage. All these youngsters. Aye. Aye. Right. Right. You're looking like a mountain goat there, Eddie. <laughs> good, good lad. Ah. There you go. Feel the oldies, as old as you feel, eh? Aye, I'm only old as I feel. Nice review of the dam. Only as old as the woman you feel. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true.
the hailstones died down already. A few minutes of hailstones. Again. Yeah. I'm gonna jump one of these days. Yeah. Right, anyway, right. that's that's all folks. We're heading down there. They put the camera away, it's too dodgy. Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. There's a cliff face. I don't think you're picking it up well, but I took it anyway. Nearly at the top. There's Molly up there. We're on the summit bridge. A few hundred feet to go. Well, Eddie, right now, we're running around there, we're running around here. 
Aye. Right. Aye, are we going to get to the top? Get to the summit. People. Hello. A lady. Right, you can take my lady. Right, you can oh. take my I'll take my time. Yeah. Right. Right, you can take my lady. Right, you can take my lady. Right, you can well, it, along the edge, it was really the edge at the right hand side, you had a big huge drop. There you go folks. There's the summit there. There's Billy. There you go. Number three for me. <laughs> Done, Eddie. That's it. Touch the top. Yeah. Well, you got a handshake. Well <laughs> <laughs> done. Well done, indeed. Right. Get all that. <laughs> right, folks. Not much of you. <laughs> In fact, no view. There's more people coming up. It's a popular mountain, even in this weather, <laughs> or especially in this weather, maybe. Was that somebody's first mineral? Ah, oh, well done. Uh, well done. There you go. Penny. Yeah. I still think we need a conference here. Okay. I'm happy to lead the party going down from now. If Kenny's There's a queue. Queue of people coming down. Oh, a party of people coming down. I don't think it's worth it. Obviously, you're not going to see the top. No, no. Most of us have been to the top before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. We got the snow as well. Yep. It's turned out a great day. Great day for the snow and the ice. Guys, it's, it's, it's all right walking, the path's actually all right, it's not that icy. It's all right, you just need to just, just take care, but it is, it's, it's, it's soft snow on the path, it's quite a good thing is that there's quite a few folk have walked in it in the last 15 minutes, there's quite a lot of footprints. It's, 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 it's good walking, but make your own decision, you know. Oh. Man, the snow and the ice, folks, great stuff. My third Monroe, <coughs> second one with Bally. No doubt we'll get another few winter Monroes done before the winter's over. I've got my crampons on, huge difference. That was good actually, trying a wee bit with put them. I know it's no really not supposed to do that for safety, but it's good to be able to do a bit and then do a bit with the crampons and you feel the difference. How much better you are, safer with the crampons on. Saw the temperature it was below minus three. The gas is not working very well. So I think the next time I need to bring up the petrol stove if I'm gonna go camping when it's well below freezing. I tried another well I don't think it's actually the stove that's the problem, I think it's just the fuel. I was using that that other time 
and it was it was just dying a death. I'm just using the sort of mere the what you, butane propane what you'd normally use or which the majority of people use when you use a gas stove. That's working a lot better. So again, if you're not sure if it's your first time, you know, double up. I know it's extra weight but it's really worth it for the first couple of times and then I'll know myself, I'm still learning. So I know that, I've learned a couple of things already. Nearly ready for something to eat. Beans and sausage and some coffee. It started snowing there. I've got my waterproofs and my waterproof jacket on. So time's that. Five past six. Been awake since about seven o'clock. It's now ten to ten to eight. Just having my breakfast. I was going to have porridge, but I've decided just to eat rice pudding. Rice pudding, hot chocolate. No, sorry, a coffee and a Mars bar. I'll save the main eating till later on. Melting some snow here for a cup of tea. Where's my lid? I'll give you a tip. Don't put your one. Don't put the pot on the snow and then shove it in your burner. The, the, the wind burner doesn't like it as, as Mark saw and we, I saw. Well, it doesn't, doesn't do well. Don't do that. Just keep your pot in the in your tent don't shove it in because all the snow and the ice sticks in the bottom of the pot and then you put it on the burner and it's no it doesn't react well That was only a bit, what, a minute and a half, two minutes? Wow. I'll put the lid back on there, isn't it? I'm lying <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Ah, you will. 6.3. That's the. Uh, it's actually no two cables. It's one cable. My memory getting terrible. Right, it's one one cable to outer, and it's got a built-in sensor. Yeah, it's down to 6.2 there for some reason. Because I left it, I left it the uh, on there for like 10 minutes without touching it. So okay, 6.2. 6.3 a second ago, but 6.2, 6.3 that's for the inner tent 
I'll switch it to the outer and it doesn't matter because that's a cable so me touching that's not going to make any difference minus 0 0.4 Minus 0 0.4 So that's a difference of uh, 6.6 .6. Nearly 7 Hmm that's, that's fine Aye. A bit of sledge action. Right. Okay. We're back in the path. Sinclair saying there's a rescue hut. Centre. Now you see that's all it is. For rescue it's not a bothy. It's just a hut or a low shelter. Yeah. It's a life saver, that's it. The vehicle is designed for to save lives in an emergency. Certainly no for comfort. I don't know much you're seeing, but it's low. Just a pure emergency shelter. Save your life and then get away the next day. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to be in it for two days, right enough? No, and you could be in there for two days and in fact you could be in there for a lot longer. Yeah. A lot of people get in. Snow is really, really deep here. Certainly three feet deep here. Sinking right in. Oh. 
It's very hard going this. Hard going. And I'm walking down their steps so they've got a harder task. I'm just following their steps. Visibility is getting a lot worse. I don't know what you're seeing in the camera, but it's pretty much white. It's pretty much a white out, eh? Aye, aye. Near enough, that's what we're heading up. And into a white out. Into the unknown. So I don't think we'll be getting a view from the top. I think we might have to sack it, but we're going a wee bit further. Don't know what you're picking up the camera, but the visibility, we can't see anything ahead. You're just walking into white. So we might have to sack it, but we're going to go on a wee bit further. Yes! Fine! We're only what? Would you would you say two hundred feet, three hundred feet for the uh, summit? Well, according to your app. In, in terms of height, well, I mean we're only a couple of hundred feet away in terms of height, but we're probably about another two and a half thousand feet in distance right. to get to it. Plus, which is no, which is not long. Aye. Which is not long if you can see where you're going. But well, we can't see a thing. There's nothing. It's just it's just blanket of snow. There's no handrails. There's nothing to to even get off. Another thing as well is that we can't see the contours. Aye, we're going. White, we don't know if it's gone up or down. Well, well, what happened uh, to the boys in Glencoe last week? And thought, you know, sad yeah. events like. I don't, I don't think it would be. Visibility's nah. probably about what? Three metres? No, even. Aye, uh, I think we should just turn back. We gave it a good shot. Yeah, We've well, been walking last for about 45 minutes, half an hour. Not more than that. 3,400 feet. We're there, we're up, 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 we Every five minutes, keep checking it, checking it. So I think we should. Oh, my vote is to turn back. Well, that's a smart money. That's a smart money. Yeah, I think we're all agreed. Like no, nah, we don't like. And I'm feel, I'm feeling all right now. I'm just getting my second one, know. but it, it's too. No, nah, I, I, I'm not There's comfortable. Nothing to see. There's nothing to see. You know, it's just too. There's nothing to see. I don't think it's worth the danger, the risk. No, I totally agree. Follow. We can't even see where we're heading well, back. We're well, just following the footprints. We're just following the footprints back, our own footprints Aye, back. Well, that's fine, you know, I've got I've GPSed a couple of wee markers anyway. We'll and you're we'll right. Them, but... Ah, it's a shame, it's just, it's there somewhere. Right, well, we'll get, we'll get into call Eddie and get Aye, a let's you. get. Get a hot drink and then we'll get to. Let's get to. I think, ah, you will. I can't even see any, I wonder mean, if that was the summit. I wanted the, the summit, no. it's just funny. No, it's too big for the summit. Huh? I'm all the old money, you know, I'm the old money. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe they were, Eddie. I can't remember every size of boots I bought for everybody. <laughs> I did get a few pairs for them for other folk, but I thought they were a nine. Maybe they were a, maybe they were a half, maybe I got you the half size. Oh, I don't like that bobble, do you? Oh, I was going to eat it, no one at all. Oh, I just eat it. Oh, what a winter it drink. It makes me feel sick with smelling it, to be honest. Oh, that, oh. To be honest, I, it doesn't smell the best, but see you drink it. Uh. Salt in it. Hi folks, I've done it again. Have a look at that. As I said, groin deep, hip deep. Right, hope I get out of it. I got out and then I sort of went in again. I can see the culprit. I'll show you. See in the middle, a wee bit of water running. Yes. So that's where I, I get stuck. Groin deep. I sort of, my foot was actually stuck. I had to sort of hammer it out with the, the poles and then just grab hold of my leg and pull. I didn't think I was getting it. I got out and I sort of slid down there. And then I slid into that, which was an even bigger hole. And I was backwards and I was struggling to get any purchase. But anyway, It's all good fun. That's the second, well, probably the third, but it's the second st stream, a river, I keep calling it a river. That's the second stream I fell into. Ah, right, here we go. I'll get there. I'll definitely get there. A wee adventure. You'll be making a cup of tea. I've had, a, I've had my own wee adventure here. And the snow, look at that. Here's the snow. It's all good. It's all good. I survived. That's the main thing. Well, that's it. She does a kiln there. Right, okay. There's a call. I made it. As you saw, as you saw in the video, I'm. I'm I walked off the path for about an hour, over an hour, I was, wasn't on the path, so that wasn't good. Stick to the path, makes it a, a lot easier. Aye, I would say so. Yeah. I think that's good advice, you should yeah. take well to heat. I should, well, I tried it, I don't know what happened, just veered off the path and that was it. I right, let's have a look at this view. It's so tense about here, right? Aye. Or in the next one. Right, here's a cairn. Ah, look at that. Two, four, five, two, two and a half thousand near enough. Uh, two, four, five, two, ah, nearly two and a half thousand feet. There you go. He's a little that high. Do that one, you probably do that one, you bother. Come up and get that one done once we're sorted, tents up and stuff. So, we're just like tents in there, just like we're going to be here. Right, right. right, folks, as I was saying, when I got blasted with the wind, uh, we're at the exposed point here. Uh, I think we'll try, and, we'll try and find a wee dip because it, Forecast was for very strong winds. I don't know why go rang up here. Right, I'm going to put the camera away now. Get the tent up. Not got much light left. Half an hour or something. There's my yarn out. There's it, Una. Oh, sorry. There's my solo. 
Yeah, start again. Right folks, there's my solo, Hillenburg solo and the Hillenburg Una. There's Hillenburg Valley. Ah, oh, and as it's the forecast was between minus 12 and minus 17, and with that wind chill, I think it probably is about between minus 12 and minus 17. That's why the Aye. camera's shaking. That's my hand shaking. Right. Shall we in the wind? That's for sure. Right, I'm going to get in the tent. I'm getting the tent for 10 minutes to heat up. I'll get a stove. Uh, I'll get my stove out, and my sleeping bag out. Oh. I was just saying there, folks, if you couldn't hear me over the wind, between minus 12 and minus 17, that was the forecast, and I've been out in minus 10, and this is colder. Still, my hands are still shaking a wee bit. Yeah. It's just that wind. It's really the, the wind's whipped up. It's probably about minus, I don't know, maybe minus 2 or 3 or 4. The wind's making it, you know, the bit extreme cold. The camera's gone wonky and the, the wee screen I've got, just the cold, it's just the extreme cold. That's, as I say, it's not really designed to be used. A bit like minus 10 and that. The wind was wild there for two minutes as it's dying down. Dying down, then whipping up really wild. Right. This is the the wee buckle. I don't know the Stop Cory Reenock. Stop Cory Reenock. Or Rainy. Something like that. Right. Just over 3,000 feet. What a view I'm getting here, folks. Unbelievable. Show you the minute. Look at the ones over there. They look nice and white. Don't ask me to name them, folks. I'm not that type of. Uh, Wild camper. Well, I'm a wild camper, no, I'm a Monroe bagger. I like my summit camps, but don't ask me to name very many because I don't know them. I just, I just, I like, I like getting up high and, and the views are fantastic, but I'm not wanting to read into them, you know. That was a buckle I just passed there. Lock out of there. That body of water. I know that. Been there enough times. Fantastic, eh? I don't know what that water is. I've driven past it enough times. And we'll go swing right round, eh? We'll go back round. And that body of water is black water, Billy tells me. And there's Billy there trying to commit suicide again. Nah, he's a good help, Billy. You need, uh, you need, uh, or I would recommend you get somebody that, you know, if you're going up to winter, winter climbs and winter Monroe's, winter summit camps, you really need somebody with more experience than I've got, you know. Or it's always helpful. You know, Billy's been doing this for 20 years or something, so he knows what he's talking about. But it's mine it got down to minus twelve. Thirteen at Avimore. It's about minus thirteen at Avimore. Ranockmore. Ranockmore, sorry, we're not near Avimore. That's us starting to go up the way. Hope we'll make it to the top. We great views. 
if I do. It's also a danger avalanche actually, but I think Bill is going to test the snow at a certain point. So how's it feel to back out Eddie? Been a wee while? Uh, Did you have a replay in the snow? Aye, uh, I'm feeling it but I'm getting warmed up a wee bit. Yeah, you can give me your down jacket tonight. <laughs> no, I mean when you're in the body. See what happens. See if you come back to this trip or no? Uh-huh. Well you finally finally gonna tackle the brookle eh? Alright. Why not come when it's deep with snow eh? That's the best time in it. It could be worse, it could be a lot of it looks like it's kind of firm in places, so it's not too bad. But aye, absolutely plastered, and it's a lovely day, so you couldn't really ask for better conditions. Yeah. So we'll have a, well, I'm sure we'll have a good one. There you go, fresh water, fresh mountain water. There's usually loads of water in the buckle, but I don't think I'll get it high up. It's frozen, so that was it. Never, never. Right. Thought I'd go for a swim. <laughs> getting steeper and steeper. Snow's getting deeper and deeper. There's belly. But that's, that's on kind of at three feet there. You take your axe out, Ed, if you like. You, you build out your poles, just make sure you get your poles in. Right. It's just a wee step and it flattens out above this. Okay. You will be alright with your poles, but just make sure you kick your feet in. Kick them in and make sure your poles are both in. Aye, ah, right. Okay. Right. Walking my step. You get your axe out, Eddie, if you like. Nah, I'll be alright. Right. Okay. Right, I've got this very steep bit to do without falling. There's a view looking back. That's a steep bit I just hiked up. I don't want to slip down there. I'll survive, but no do me any good. Right, Bally, are we safe to go on? Aye, I'm quite happy to go on, Eddie. This is the real look. This is the contour that we're going to be on. You can see there's, there's tracks from the last couple of days or so. But, you know, if you just look above us, you know, there's quite a lot of snow, but there's nothing really, nothing that's really fresh powder. Or Aye, it doesn't look like that. There's not any drifts or anything like that, you know. Right. It's fairly firm, so I'm quite happy to keep going. And we'll check it again when we get up, up mid-height. Right. Alright, we're, we're alright on this, there's not a lot. We're not really going to go anywhere really either. We're not over a few big crags or anything. You'll be alright with your post a wee bit longer. Right. We'll maybe dig your axe out when we get up there. Right, right. okay. But obviously, you, you decide. If you decide that you want your axe out, get it out. Aye, I'll get my axe out. If I had out. poles a day, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bothered it. I'll it's see how... I'm doing it's okay. Good. It's good under feet, so it's got... It's, it's certainly, certainly frees up nicely, so it should make stuff better going. There's nothing, nothing above us I'm really concerned about. None of the gullies are really holding a lot of snow. There is snow, but there's nothing, nothing I'm Dramatic, aye. It's more, it's more up towards Corrin if you look at the, the head wall. You know, there isn't really right. a form to speak of either, but up into that wee basin, that's usually quite bad. But we'll have a look. We'll have a look once we get nearer. Right. So we're good to go. Okay, let's, let's get there. Let's get there. Another steep bit to go up. We're going up that way as opposed to going that way. I've got my ice axe out just in case I uh, slip down there. It'd be rather unfortunate, I think, if I do. 
Right folks, yeah. Bailey was just talking about, as you see the ice breaking up. Yeah, just the snow pack, it's snow snow pack. Snow, it's unstable. But obviously you see it's only what, a wee, a wee inch and a half Aye. or something, you know. So it's nothing, it's not just things you always look at. So an avalanche, it's just this, well, look, the avalanche is just the same. So you see that arch just above it, it should crack. Uh, oh, that's what yeah, it. that was a bit. Just doing it, you look. See? Right. So just an avalanche is just that on a much well, obviously a giant scale, scale like huge scale. It's just it's just no it's just not bonding in. It's not bonding. It's soft. That's probably fresh snow from maybe last night or the night before. And it's just not, you know, sometimes you need a wee thaw for, for the snow pack to saturate and then refreeze again. But you just need yeah. to watch out for that. But this is maybe Aye. a bigger slope, maybe up there. You know, it's a bit deeper than that, you know, you'd be a wee bit worried, you'd either want to hurry up and get across it. Ah. So you always just got to keep on checking as you as you get up. That's the bit we we came from, Billy. They said this is a bit dodgy. This bit, this bit. Ah, it's not so much dodgy, Eddie. It's just it's just that we're, we're, we've got a big run out. Aye. We do take a slide and a fall. Yeah, I see what you mean. Aye. You're just quite a drop. Seventy miles an hour. Well, we don't want to be doing that. So that's why we're just a bit. All right, again, bye. I'm making okay progress. It's good fun. I'm actually I'm feeling a wee bit more comfortable now. Good. You know, I'm not just my size a wee bit burning. I'm not used to it. You see, you're used. I'm not used to this yet. I was, I was out on Saturday, I suppose. Uh, no, no, just plod away. We're good. Time's good. It's a nice day. That's a great day. Great day. Right, right, onwards and upwards again. Here's Billy kicking. Ah, he's making Wait, steps. Right yeah. There's another big bit coming off. Yeah, it's just, it's just in though. If that was deep, I'd be a bit worried, especially on this slope. Right. So, come on, Ed, let's just get up there, put the rock. Right, okay. Billy's saying we better get up, it's just for safety. Right, folks, we're getting our crampons on. Snow's turning. Well, I wouldn't say it was turning into ice, but it's, ah, it's, it's just getting, getting a harder. Bit a bit firmer, so. Bit icier, so. Crampons for safety. Yeah. We'll be silly, we've carried them. Aye. We'll get a play. We could be play with the toys anyway, didn't we? Yeah. So that's what we'll do. Right. Look at that view. Fantastic. You talking with me? Oh no. Nah. I'm Better take pictures of my backside again. Aye, uh, I've, I've got enough of your backside going up. Right. People think I've never, I'm no there. <laughs> no, I think they'll know you're there. That's the view looking down. And look at that. That's what we're heading up. Right. Ah, uh, we're just blocked here. Up and over that. Oh, well, well up and over that. Folks, I'm feeling it. My thighs are feeling it in this section. I'm going straight up that gully. Ah, oh. I'll get there. That's how deep we're sinking in. Well, Billy's sinking in. I'm trying to follow these, get in these, but pretty deep. Close, but no cigar. Had a wee fall there. We wee bit excitement. We wee fall through the rocks. No damage done. Well, I don't think you really fell, you slipped. I slipped, aye. The rock came loose. I had my hand in a rock and it just actually came, came off. Going to peel backwards, it looks like, I know, it looks like I was going to fall his first back the way, but. You saved it. I saved it. Saved, <laughs> saved myself. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, you left or right? Right. Earlier, we got the rock, back. Ah. Uh, What's uh, easy? Anything in the easy way, is it? It's still both fun. Yeah, we just traverse across it, the footsteps that go, we have. Go through. That's a plod. Aye, we'll go with the rocks. We'll go with the hand to rock. Aye, we'll go with the hand to rock way. Alright. Just, just make sure you're happy. Hands to rock. Check everything. Right. There's nothing loose. Well done, Eddie. There's Billy up there. Reach the top or something. Here's a. Here's the way, we're not going that way, we go the other way, but check that view. See that? 
few times now, but look, it just gets better and better. And that's what I hiked up. Yeah, I don't know how st if you're picking up how steep it is, but it must be 75 degrees angle. <laughs> Great stuff. So bad, but I wouldn't want to be getting much thicker. You do that whole thing then, goes, it's just this wee area. There's the size of the blocks of ice that are coming down there. Thickness. About four inches thick, eh? Five inches thick. Aye, aye, it's a lot. It's just, it's just this wee area. There's just a wee... A wee, a wee accumulation. I noticed this on the way up, I saw this bit, but it didn't seem to do that then. Aye. The temperature sucked a wee bit. See, you can see, you just stand above it and it goes. Yeah. That's like in a pit, you would dig a pit and test it. Yeah. But that wall is weak. That's quite a big layer. Or big, as big as we've seen in the day, but still. Aye. Shot. The wind's died right down. Uh, you enjoying it? First twenty minutes. As always, but it's a lot easier with the crampons on. You know, walking the ice, you really need crampons and an ice axe. Quite a ridge. Nice. <laughs> there it is, folks. Baby spot. <laughs> Baby spot. Billy Sin. Yeah, it's a nice hill. I think it is a well. I've only done it this time, but I think uh, but Billy was saying he's like this. This is Billy's second time. He never reached the top the first time. He didn't need to take his crampons and he turned back, so it wasn't safe. All right, we're just thinking that down there might be a potential camping spot. That might be a that might be a camp spot. Still heading up. I better watch up near the edge here. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to fall now, eh? No at the top. Better fall at the bottom.
Welcome. Welcome, Dijon.